All right, guys. So today I wanted to break down the five categories that I make an income with uh, from wood carving. And at the very end of this video, I'm going to tell you the percentages of each of those categories in terms of the income stream. So I'm going to break them down my top five biggest income streams uh, in uh, wood carving. But before we get into it, of course, any of these can be applied to any other type of art form, right? So uh, if you're not a wood carver, it's probably still worth tuning in if you're interested in learning about how I've managed to spend the last 16 years um, building my business and just kind of organized my income streams and just seeing, I think, what um, I've done is it, it can be helpful to other folks. And I, I hope it's helpful. I shouldn't say it necessarily has to be helpful to those who are already doing what I do, but there aren't a lot doing it. So let's get into it. The first thing is um, selling the actual artwork, in my case, selling wood carvings. That is the number one way in which I make a living. And there are two kind of ways that I do that. I sell commission work and then I sell um, original work. And the avenues for selling one-off stuff just stuff that inspires me that I love to make. Like for instance, this is just something that's fun that I really enjoy carving. No customers hounding me down to make this. I just make it because I like to. That is something I sell at an art fair or online, right? So um, through the internet, through my website, occasionally I'll sell stuff pretty infrequently at this point, but that I believe will soon be a part of my uh, income. But for now, um, I do the occasional, say, two or three art fairs a year. And that means that uh, I'm applying, I'm journeying into these shows. Uh, these are shows where you're getting 50,000 to, say, a quarter million uh, attendees. That's important because you want to have a large uh, group of people because maybe only 5% of those people are going to be interested in buying a carving or in a piece of artwork of yours. So, um, to me, it's important that the attendance is very high. The best way to determine that is to go to Sunshine Artist Magazine, and you can Google that, and they'll actually rank the art shows in your state or region. I don't know if they do it outside of the US, um, but I'm sure there are other rankings resources for other countries as well. But um, moving on, uh, the next largest category in which I make, uh, uh, make a living from, teaching. Teaching through uh, my online school, the first category, that is um, definitely the best resource for the students because, uh, you know, when you think about it, the students are going to either buy, for me, from me at least, uh, in-person classes or online classes. And one in-person class is about the same price as one year's worth of access to my online school, which instead of having one project has like 80 plus projects, right? Or 80 plus project videos, somewhere probably in the range of 60 or 70 projects. So a lot of content, right? Uh, so it makes more sense from a cost perspective. Uh, if you're comfortable with learning online to take those online classes. So that's a big part of what I offer. Of course, <laughs> Uh, I link that in the description for those of you who are interested in checking that out. Uh, and that is um, a, a pretty big part of my income is teaching online and in person. All right, so the next thing is um, uh, YouTube. Of course, YouTube does pay ad revenue. So for every video you make, depending on the length of the video, you're going to get two, three, four ads per video. The longer videos, you might get more. But you do get some ad revenue from those YouTube videos as well as the affiliate links through Amazon Associate, um, uh, Amazon Associates program or affiliate program. Um, so you can look into that if you're a YouTuber. All you have to do is fill out a form on Amazon if you search out Amazon affiliates and you'll get two or three percent of the sales of every product that is uh, on your uh, description, your YouTube description. Um, outside of that, um, you know, there are ways that you can use YouTube to kind of get uh, attention back to what you're doing, you're carving. It can only help this uh, whole ecosystem of your business. And that's the goal is that everything kind of feeds off of one another symbiotically. Uh, so the next thing is uh, my um, tools, selling tools. Now I included this in this because at one time, probably about a year ago, 
um, which is where I'm drawing most of this uh, the information from my last year of, of doing business. I sold tools. This year, I'm not selling tools. So don't uh, follow up on tools. Don't ask me about tools because I don't sell them right now. Um, I might in the future and I'll let you guys know if I do. But tool sales is not anything to scoff at. It's worthwhile. The reason I don't do it right now is because uh, shipping and handling is a lot. So I'm trying not to um, overwhelm myself. I'm trying to keep things in their proper place. So I'm not uh, selling tools at the moment. But what that looks like is going to a company that manufactures tools or a distributor of a company that manufactures tools and say, uh, hey, I want to sell your stuff. Can I get a percentage uh, for each um, sale that I make? And you'd be surprised if you have a decent following, you're doing art for a living, people might uh, actually follow up. In some cases, they, they will definitely follow up and allow you to sell because who wouldn't, who wouldn't want uh, their products uh, sold by a willing and uh, talented um, artist? So that's another way in which you can do it, uh, make, make money from your artwork uh, is selling the tools that you use to make the artwork. The next thing, writing. Uh, this is actually a new category for me. I've only been writing um, at, at a professional level um, for a little less than 10 years, and it's really ramped up. Uh, in other words, it went from writing articles for Wood Carving Illustrated and um, you know, getting paid per article to now writing a book with Wood Carving Illustrated. That's my big project this year. And actually this project is one of the main projects featured in the book. And uh, I don't know if you can see the flowers in there, but uh, I'm very excited about that. And uh, these, are, these are ways in which you can uh, kind of sh share your skills, uh, writing, making articles, uh, even a blog. I actually really uh, miss writing a blog and might uh, go back to that in the near future. But um, excellent ways to interact and engage with your clients. Harder to make money uh, with blogs. I think they're one of those things, kind of like YouTube, that feeds it into your, um, your business and helps grow it, but isn't necessarily a direct source of income. So... Uh, that's it. Those are the top five kind of ways in which are really the, the main ways I make a living with wood carving. And so let's start with the most uh, kind of profitable uh, part of my business. That is, I think I already mentioned, wood carving. The actual making and selling of wood carvings makes up the majority of my income as it should, right? Because it would be kind of weird if I was doing this for a living and way more of my income came from something else. Uh, at least I think so. That's a personal opinion, but um, I sell my work uh, and I enjoy selling it, and that makes up forty percent of my income. Forty percent uh, or thereabouts uh, of my income does come from selling the stuff. So, the next second most profitable part of my uh, work is teaching, as a large category. Uh, that teaching online, teaching through um, in-person workshops, that makes up. Um, very close to 40% of my income, probably just a little bit shy of making original work. And so teaching is a huge part of my passion and uh, it, it absolutely is worthwhile if you enjoy it. Don't put yourself through the, the pain of teaching because it is a difficult if you are not enjoying the process, right? Uh, if you don't like to teach, you're probably not good at it, right? Because if you're not enjoying what you're doing, you're probably not... Uh, uh, you're probably not doing your best excelling at it. So 40% thereabouts of my income comes from teaching. The next is um, definitely at this point, writing. Uh, so writing hasn't always been the largest part uh, or the third largest category. But uh, in this season of life, as I am writing, uh, there are small advance checks that you can get from carving. And uh, those are those are the uh, kind of things that I'm, I'm, I'm working on right now, uh, writing a book. So that's that, guys. I hope this was helpful. Um, oh, I should say YouTube as well. YouTube is about 5%. <laughs> so it's a small percentage. It's mostly a way of promoting what I do. So that's that. Uh, we're through the whole thing, and I managed to get it in within less t than 10 minutes. So I uh, hope you guys uh, get back to me if you have any questions. Bye.